But what do you say to people who say you, you stay on the talking points? I would say you're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's not even sinking in her head that she repeats herself over and over. Uh, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? Y'all see what time it is? Let's go. We're sitting down for a town hall with Charlemagne the God. When pressed on if she supports reparations, she sidestepped and says it needs to be studied. Mm. And is also defending her constant repetitive answers. Listen to this. But what do you say to people who say you, you stay on the talking points? I would say you're welcome. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, here's the thing. So repetition is important. And for that reason, yes, at my rallies, I say the same thing when I go to Detroit as I do in Philly as yeah, I do wherever I know. am. We already know what she's saying. She grew up in a middle class area. She worked at McDonald's. We already know. To make sure that people hear and, and receive what I think are some of the most um, critical issues that are at stake in this election. How is that answer? But hey, I'm low-key surprised that Charlemagne even asked that question because y'all know back in the day, Charlemagne used to keep it real, which is why so many people like Charlemagne. But once people started bringing up that case again, ever since then, he's been pandering to women. But I guess he's got tired of beating around the bush and he had to say what he wanted to say because it's been a lot of disrespect towards black men lately. Y'all notice we are the only ones that are forced to vote for anybody. They don't do this to anybody else. Well, I, I'm just thinking, like, what what is going to happen if somebody says they're against reparations? I, what I, I mean, because I actually don't know what she really thinks. Telling somebody that it needs to be studied means that you don't want to answer the question. Right. That's what they always do. That's like let's just. Study we already it know how she feels. You, know you actually think. Mm. You just we don't saw the video. She says she doesn't believe in reparations. She doesn't believe in doing anything just for black people. And then she seen the response that the internet had to that, saying, how can you say you're not going to do anything for black people, but y'all didn't have a problem doing anything for Asians. Y'all didn't have a problem doing anything for the alphabet community. Y'all don't have a problem doing anything for all these other groups. But you're saying it's a problem to do something just for black people. She saw the response, so now she doesn't want to come out and say what she really thinks about it. That's all it is. Afraid. Why are you so afraid to answer the question? And, and Janine, she, she know why, because she, she don't want to lose votes, obviously. It's everything over and over again because she needs to drill it through the dumb public's head. I'm not sure That's she understood the question. Because the question was, why do you repeat things often? And her answer was, repetition is important whether I'm in Detroit or Philly or quote, wherever I am. I think she took it to mean she gives the same speech in Detroit that she gives in Philly that she gives wherever I am. It's not even sinking in her head that she repeats herself over and over. In this it's like she picks one word and then she says the same word over and over. Like last week, her word was holistically. Everything was holistic this, holistic that. Same speech. Because the answer to that would have to be because I think that the American population is stupid. Yep. <laughs> y'all heard what y'all heard what she said about the young voters. She said the young voters are stupid, and then y'all see how they feel about the black men. They feel like we are so weak and dumb that they can force us into voting for Kamala, and that's because a lot of black dudes are weak and stupid. So they're so afraid of somebody saying that they hate black women or somebody saying that they hate their mama, and people know this. So this is why they do this because they know that this works. The practice in politics, um, when, when you get tired as a candidate of saying something, that this, means that this is why Obama did this. He basically told y'all, she's a black woman, your mama is black, so why are you not voting for her? Do you got a problem with your mama? But y'all notice they never try this to any other group. You've never heard them say to a black woman, oh, your daddy black, so you should treat a black man like this and that. Never, because they know it's not going to work, because it doesn't make sense. And even if it did make sense, it still probably wouldn't work. But black men fall for stuff like this all day, every day. Amazing. Public may have heard it once or twice. I, I, I get her. I understand. Yeah. What, I think I understand what she's saying there. And I think I understand what you're saying. You're, she, you, you're saying that she repeats herself in her speeches. And she would argue, you know, I do it because of that reason. President Trump does it. President Obama did it. President Bush did it. President Biden did it. President Clinton did it. It's, what, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feature of politics. Right. This notion, I, I want to switch back a little bit. The notion that she is... I told y'all why they repeat things over and over because the average person is going to think, oh, well, I heard this person say this, I heard this person say this, oh, I have heard this three or four times now. Well, it must be true. Somehow another difficult on African-American men and that's somehow another, I've heard a couple of theories that African-American men who are not voting for her might be sexist. I don't think that's the case. 
uh, that African-American men think that she locked up too many criminals as if African-American men want criminals out of jail. That's silly. Um, I, I love her right. record as a prosecutor. I love her record uh, uh, not only as a prosecutor locking up people who committed crimes in America, but people who try to commit crimes coming into the country. Did and she ever first see the criminal case in a courtroom? I don't know the answer to that. So how do you know what a record is? Well, you just said that she locked up two, you, in your own opening, you said she locked right. up 2,000 men, didn't you? Th that was in, that. You know that what I'm saying is right. That's why they keep on bringing up Project 25, even though Trump said it over and over again, they had nothing to do with it. But I told y'all before, they lost so much and they are willing to go so far that I think that they might have came up with Project 25 just to try to scare people out of voting for Trump was in what she is saying and that well, what her detractors are saying i'm saying but you like her she, record but if she locked at 2000 th that's that a means question she, by charlamagne the god no you said my that question in your first to you yeah. is if she's such a great prosecutor why did she never first see the criminal case he sound like they agree with each other I'm only going on what you said. She locked up two. I'm talking about black men are saying now. If you want to talk black about men are saying she locked it up. It sounds like you guys agree. Right. If that's what I'm hearing. That you guys are in complete agreement. <laughs> Greg, you had Charlemagne the God on your show. Yep. How do you think he's gonna do with this interview? It's feeding in right now. Well, I think you learned a lot from doing my show. Uh, he, <laughs> he, he uh, observed this an expert at this. I, I'm gonna just uh, finish my thought that like, for a guy, for a guy. Voting for Kamala is like getting a massage from a dude. And he probably see the comments. He see people saying they want the old Charlemagne back. He see people saying they tired of him not telling the truth, not saying how he really feel. So he said, you know what? I'm going to ask what everybody want to know. That is not acceptable. That is not acceptable. He should have um, he should have asked a lot more than that because there's way more questions that we need answers to. But it's okay. At least he asked her one tough question. You brought up uh, when they say with the reparations needs to be studied. That's all they want. The activists just want the gravy train to themselves so they could have conferences, you pay for lunches, maybe a business class flight to Austin, Texas. It's great in the springtime. We could have a conference there. It's basically, this is what uh, Newsom did in California. All you do is just keep kicking that can down the road because while you're kicking it, you're also paying people who are on the committee. We're on the committee to to uh, assess reparations it's but if it happens and if it happens she's not gonna give us no reparations man y'all seen the video the video got millions of views y'all saw how she felt about reparations she's only switching it up because she's doing what she's been doing the whole entire time saying and doing anything that she can to get votes y'all see how far they're willing to go they're letting thousands of criminals into the country they don't care about all the crimes that they're hearing about they don't give a damn because they got enough money to have security. They don't got to be affected by it like the average person. They are willing to do anything and say anything to win this election, man. In your state, you got to move. You just have to move because you know what? You shouldn't be paying for somebody else's deeds who's not alive. That is like, that's war. No one's going to make me do that. And we want to clarify. Then, then y'all should know how far they're willing to go when they just almost blew this man's head off a couple months ago. Then, almost did it again the second time. Then they want to put the letter out with the dude begging somebody else to finish the job, talking about how he would pay him some money. Knowing damn well they did not have to put that full letter out. They could have just told us certain parts of the letter, and we would have never had no idea what he really said. But they put that out there because they don't mind if people keep on trying. They're actually disappointed that it didn't go through the first time, but a lot of them won't admit that. And then some of them actually have admitted it, but... I think I said enough on this video, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, your boy, yo.